I'm gonna try to explain uh, as I can't. I have a example here. That's your intake box. So this obviously very easy. You just put the two clamps to insulate the water coolant. Disconnect from the intercooler, unscrew the bolts, and you pull it out. That's it. That's the first step. Second step will be cover up those inlets holes, right? I would put it piece of paper or something, piece of rag, just cover up just for in case so nothing gonna flow into the engine while you're working. Okay, and do the other side and this side. Okay, when you cover everything up, you have to remove the original air direction thing, I would call it. As you see, one second, let me take some. So you may need some pick tools to get rid of this, get rid of that. As you see, you have a notch over here and you have another notch on the bottom of the same spot. So what you have to do, you have to press it up and down both ends see it moves and same time and pull it out each side like this one in here it's, it's hard to do with the one hand you may need somebody help other person to help you so you have to take it out this so you press it here you press it in the bottom and then you put same thing on the other side so that's the way you will take it out okay after that, it's going to be other step. So we have to install this, uh, I would say, kind of adapter between the box and methanol kit. That 22 degrees, 45 degrees, sorry, is going to be inside the, inside the box. I'll send you the way it is right now. So this will seal the, from the boost leak inside the box so you're sliding over here when you drill it then you got the uh, uh, aluminum washer and the nut to tight so that's how it's gonna be okay that's how you will be tightening from uh, outside i think it's uh, 14 millimeter or 15. <clears throat> so the perfect spot is by the pcv line just put this ring first make sure we have free you know nothing is touching and it's free from both ends and you mark center then you drill it but you're not drilling the size of this your hole it will be match as tight as possible to this thread so you gotta drill that close to this thread then you slide it over Put the washer and tight with the nut. So this should be plenty. You adjust the angle you need it. Uh, later when you're gonna slide the uh, metal piece in. And uh, so this is the another step. So right? this is the piece you will receive with the another 40 in adapter. It's gonna be loose, so you have to put a thread lock. I'm using thread lock always. You have to find the perfect angle to connect those two pieces together. And you're using the thread lock for your nozzle. So you're putting your nozzles in here with the thread lock, let it set for a day to dry, and it's ready. <clears throat> and then you press, just very simple, you gotta go in. You have to find the spot. It's I think it's when you go on the bottom, a little bit an angle, and it should straighten up. There we go, yeah. And you slide it where it needs to be in the place. So we just slide it right there, all the way in. But before you click that all the way in, make sure everything is done. Okay, because it's gonna be later hard to uh, do the nozzles and stuff. And this guy needs to be adjusted too, the four in fitting. So this is very short, uh, spot to do the uh, compression fittings 
It's kind of a little bit pain in the ass, but I did it. So hopefully you guys who are gonna do installation will do it. I used like maybe, I tried like five time or four time, and then I did it finally the way I need it. So you have to um, uh, have some tools to use this. I'm pretty sure your shop will know what they needed. And uh, it's flatting, it's called flatting tool. I'll give you extra aluminum tubing. I, I, I knew because I did from the fifth time, I think it was fourth, fourth time. It was perfect fit and I connected. You have to like do S shape bend probably to make it work. Or you can came up with a little bit different idea if you find the easiest way to connect this. Okay, when you connect everything inside, Connect your methanol pump and just run it. Make sure no leaks, none of those uh, threaded pieces, okay? And that's it. When you done this, you can slide this back in, connect everything back together, and you connect your methanol line, whatever it's going to. So hopefully you understand what to do. And um, like any car guy should, you know, able to do this it's not that easy because of this uh, part of the work make it a little bit more difficult but other than that it's straightforward to drill that you can use like a angle adapter drill I usually use because it's gonna be an engine right you don't want to take it out the airbox so I'm using this kind of tool <clears throat> the size the bit you need it i don't remember what size i was using it it could be less than half an inch so you can put it this to the drill and drill it nice hole with this kind of tool because regular drill uh angle drill is not gonna fit here uh what else i think that's it Perfectly. Right. Perfect enough. So that's how this will be working. Perfect piece. 